Well, hello, and uh, welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, where we use words, phrases, and real-life situations to help you uh, improve your English. If you like this, uh, these types of videos, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, and also hit the bell for notifications. In today's uh, episode, we have a special guest with us today, and I think an interesting topic topic is like a theme or a subject, subject matter that we're going to be talking about, which uh, few people probably don't know about. And I know I wasn't very uh, knowledgeable. That means I didn't know much about this. But the guest is my, if you can't tell, twin brother, uh, Gerald. And we're going to talk about iron body training. Iron body training. Iron is like the metal iron. So it's, I won't steal his thunder, as we say in English. I won't steal his thunder. That means I won't talk about what he is going to talk about. So I'll let him talk about that. And we can jump right in. That, we can, that means we can start right away into uh, what we're going to talk about. So... Uh, Gerald, you want to introduce yourself to everybody? Uh, I'm glad to be here. Um, Gary's twin brother, if you haven't been able to tell. And um, nothing much else to say. You can just get right into okay. uh, the subject, I think. Okay, well, uh, tell us. Um, I know you've been interested in and doing what's called iron body training. So what exactly is uh, iron body training? Yeah, I have to say I'm not in expert, but uh, from what I've read, it's basically trying to um, condition your body to be able to absorb implant impacts or blows, I guess. Most what is people, a blow? Yeah, most people who do this are most likely into the martial arts or like okay. kung fu. And so I guess in order to, when they're fighting, it helps to strengthen their their bones and the tendons so if they get hit it's not going to hurt mm -hmm. so a blow can be like a hit or a punch yeah, a hit or a punch okay. so they do a lot of training with other people like to hit their arms together to build up the resistance in their bones so if you do get hit it won't hurt as okay. as much so this training helps to strengthen condition your uh your body, your arms, mainly your arms, and what other parts of your body are? Yeah, arms and people do it to condition their their shin bone in the front. Oh, okay. If you get hit, you could do the same thing for that. Okay. So what got you uh, interested in, in doing this? Have you been doing this all your life or for a long time or just recently? Uh, no, I started maybe... Uh, a little less than a year ago. Oh, okay. I was interested in doing some type of exercise. And I always had an interest in martial arts. So I saw a video on YouTube of this martial art called uh, Southern Praying Mantis Kung Fu. Okay. And I guess in that style of uh, martial arts, they do a lot of conditioning for your arms. Oh mostly. So I started looking into that and uh, slowly, gradually started doing some exercises to uh, condition my arms. And I guess um, that's really how I got started. Okay. And praying mantis, that's an interesting, what is a praying mantis for people that may not yeah. know? So it gets its name from the insect so there's an insect called a praying mantis. Called a praying mantis. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll put a vi a picture of a praying mantis on the uh, on the video so viewers can see what that insect is. The praying mantis has two arms that it uses that sticks out and it can grab prey, mm -hmm. other insects that it may eat. Okay. So in the southern praying mantis style, they use a lot of um, their arms a lot as far as in uh, blocking and attacking. They don't use their, their legs and, 
to do kicks that often. Mm -hmm. So a lot is based on your arms and just trying to block. So that's why it's important to make sure your arms can take the uh, the impact. Okay. An impact is like just like, a, the hit or the blow. Yeah, a hit, hit or a blow. Okay. Well, you want to tell us a little bit about Southern praying mantis in general, the his, a little bit of the history of the martial art? Yeah, I'll just read uh, what's noted here in this Wikipedia page. So it, it's a Southern style of Kung Fu from Southern China. Okay. There's also a, a praying mantis style, but it's from the north of China. So that's, that's different. They're not related. So this is from Southern China. And it says that the southern praying mantis, they place a heavy emphasis or importance on close range fighting. So if you're fighting somebody, you're going to be fairly close to the person. Mm -hmm. And so this system is known for its short power methods. And an emphasis is on hand and arm techniques. So that's why I mentioned they do a lot of conditioning on their hand and their arms because that's really important in this style. And it says that um, the hands are the most readily available for attack and defense of the upper body and protect the martial artist by employing different techniques you know, designed to inflict injury. So that's sort of the basis, Okay. the basics of it. I well, know you got into this, so I guess you've been continued to do it, so um, there must be something about it you like and I guess enjoy. Or, and So what are some of the benefits and why do you like doing this uh, training? And is it, does it hurt uh, the body and what do you do to maybe heal or if you do get kind of injured a little bit, uh, is there something you can do to, to help with that? Uh, yeah, they sell uh, some Chinese herbs that are um, boiled, and then you can buy those. And so they tell you to put that on your arms before mm -hmm. you train, and then after, and the herbs are supposed to help with any bruising. Like if your arm gets sore, it's supposed to help okay. the, the soreness. And bruising may also be like if it gets like a red spot or a, on, the, on the arm where it gets injured or hurt. But, you know, you think you just need to start slowly mm -hmm. and you shouldn't have any problem. I just sort of enjoy it and you can see uh, yourself making progress. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can see yourself getting better and better the more you do it. And it doesn't hurt as much as it used to when you first start. And it's also good workout for your shoulders and arms okay. as well. Well, I guess that's a good segue, as we say in, in English, or maybe an introduction or a point where we can then move to another uh, portion of the interview. So now can you show us and or talk to us about the equipment that you use to, um, to perform this iron body training so we can see, uh, see what it's like? Yeah, I, I didn't bring the uh, initial... A tool that I made but it was basically like this this is a long metal rod so this is steel or, or metal so it's, it's very hard yeah so the first one I made it was like this but it was wood and I put a, a five pound weight on the end and so you just roll this back and forth okay across your your arm and you do the same thing here because you have the main bones here or here on this side mm -hmm. and then on this side of your arm so you're trying to strengthen those by doing these exercises okay so once I started that you know the five five pounds got fairly easy so then I saw some other tools that you could make so this bar is, is really not that heavy but instead of doing it the first way you can roll it across your arms like this mm -hmm. 
So that way, that roll is the, the bar is rolling. We say is mo it's kind of rotating and moving, moving in a direction back and forth. And then you can put it on your legs and roll this way. So you and put pressure. So you're conditioning the bones on this side of the mm -hmm. arm as well. Okay. So I guess once you know I started doing yeah. this, it got easy. So I went to the, the hardware store, and this is a heavy iron pipe. And, and what's nice about it is you can take off the ends, unscrew the ends. Yeah, I know this may be called like an end or end cap. Yeah. And so to increase, increase the weight and make it harder, you can add other okay. pipes inside so I added another pipe in here and I can add some more to make it heavier yeah okay so once it starts getting easier so it's uh, it's, it's the same thing if I can get this screwed back on So now I can do this, and this weighs approximately, uh, I've written the weight on here, about 16 pounds. It's pretty heavy there. So roll this back and forth. Uh, maybe do like uh, 50 of these at one time. Mm. And then you can feel your shoulders starting to hurt. So this strengthens the bones here. Then you do the same thing here. And then to strengthen just the, the top of the arms and the, the muscles, mm -hmm. you can use the same and extend your arms and roll it. And this really works your shoulders. Your shoulders get tired after a while. And you can do the same thing on this side. So that's basically what I do for the four sides of the arm. And so the first pipe I showed, I can put that inside here mm -hmm. and then make it even heavier, up okay. to about um, 20 pounds or 21 pounds. So that's, that's for the arm, arm conditioning with the bones. And then as I was reading, uh, watching some other videos on the internet, uh, I guess a Shaolin monk and, and some other people talked about this iron brush. Mm. You made that? Uh... Yeah, I made this. You can go to the hardware store also and buy these long, thin metal, pieces of metal. Mm -hmm. So I just put them together and wrapped them with some tape. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that's all that is. And so you can use this as well to tap the bones. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to take it slow at first. You don't hit yourself very real hard at first. No, but over time the bone density will increase mm -hmm. and they'll become strengthened. You can also hit your skin as well. Mm -hmm. and hit your the ribs yeah, okay. the, for these bones yeah. here too and you can do the same also for the the bone that runs here shin, shin, shin bones. bones to strengthen that as well so that's really why it's called iron body training if your body's becoming more like iron or it's becoming harder right Over yeah time. That, that's where they they get the the terminology and okay. if you've seen people who have trained years doing this they can actually break uh, bricks and, and mm -hmm. rocks with their hands. Oh. I forgot to mention, so that was what I showed earlier was for the arm. So one of the big things people like to train is their hand. So this is just a, a bag filled with uh, some type of beans that I ordered. Okay. And they call that a bean bag on, on the internet. So to strengthen your hand, you can do various exercises just keep your hand relaxed mm -hmm. let it drop 
And so you're strengthening your hand and the, the joints and the tendons. Mm -hmm. And that's called, I guess, what iron palm training, they call it. Yeah, if you read on the internet, it's called iron palm. Because this part of your hand is called the palm, so you're, that's why it's called iron palm, okay? So you're kind of conditioning you know, your palm and also the fingers and the joints mm -hmm. here, because your whole hand hits the bag. Then for the side of your hand, you can hit it the same way. Mm -hmm. And then for the back of the hand, you can do something similar. Because I guess the, another thing about the Southern Praying Mantis, a lot of martial arts, they may block with one hand mm -hmm. and then punch with the other, but Southern Praying Mantis a lot of times likes to use the same hand so they'll block and at the same time after that directly attack. Mm -hmm. So you're you're you may block and then then attack. So you want to use your use your hands a lot, okay. like we talked about earlier. Yeah. And so they may hit somebody more than one time once they get close in. Mm -hmm. So you can hit with the palm, come back using the the side of your hand and then maybe the back of your hand all at the same time with both hands. So that's sort of why they want their arms okay. and their hands to be able to condition. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. Um, is there anything else you'd like to uh, to add or to to tell us? Uh, or how often do you uh, do this uh, training? Uh, probably try to do it uh, every other day. Okay. But uh, some yeah. people say you could do it every day and probably have uh, faster progress. Mm -hmm. And how long of a session or how long of a time every other day do you it Probably takes uh, 45 to 50 minutes. That's a good length of, length I of time. I also do try to do some uh, weight lift, weight lift, lift weights. Okay. And other exercises. So it's uh, it's been really convenient mm -hmm. for me because it's something I can do at home. So if I work late, I don't have to go to the right. gym yeah. or anything. I can all do all this at home. Okay. And I guess uh, I haven't really done the Southern Praying Mantis training because it's difficult to do mm -hmm. by yourself. Right, you need a partner to yeah, train Yeah, it with. helps with the partner, so I've just been able to con just continue doing this on my own, by myself, okay. and it gives you motivation. Mm -hmm. Like like I mentioned, you can see yourself making yeah. progress and getting better with the, the more weight that you can mm -hmm. do, and it doesn't hurt Okay, well, that's like scary. it used to at the beginning. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, joining us and kind of telling us about this iron body training and what you do. I found it very interesting, and I hope you did too. So we hope to bring you uh, other videos on different topics like this and uh, to help you learn more about not just improve your English, uh, but also learn more about different topics and also learn more about uh, things here in the United States. So... Um, thanks for watching this episode of Learn Everyday English. Again, if you like these types of videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications, and we'll be bringing you more uh, videos like this in the future. So, until next time, we'll see you later on Learn Everyday English. And again, thank, thank you, Gerald, for uh, my, my pleasure. joining us and uh, sharing a little bit of your life and what you do with us. So we'll see you again. Bye-bye.